greetings to everyone, to the children, ates, and kuyas, parents, and grandparents here this afternoon. Welcome to our illustration workshop for kids. This workshop launches the Met Online Studio, a series of art workshops led by artists working in a variety of art forms, media, and expressions. Inspired by artworks from the museum's collections and exhibitions, each workshop is tailored for different audiences, with the artist facilitators encouraging you to experiment with a wide range of art production styles and techniques. So for today, we aim for children to discover two main things today. First, for them to learn tips and tricks on drawing like a visual storyteller. And second, for them to reflect on their communities and the simple yet meaningful acts they can do for them. So now, let me introduce to you our facilitator for today's workshop. Jelai Manabat is an in-house artist at Adarna House. She's also a member of Ang Ilustrador ng Kabataan and is happy to have illustrated Masayang Magtanim, Inside Daniel's Head, both published by Adarna House, and Kapit Kapit Bahay Bahay, published by the Save San Roque Alliance. So to get started, she will be joined by Alec and me, Nikki, who are part of the museum's curatorial team. So hi, Alec. Hi, Jelai, Miss Jelai. Hello. Hi, Nikki. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hello, everyone. So how are you both today? I'm doing great. I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous, but um, also excited for everyone to maybe learn something new today and also for the art activity that we're going to do. Yeah, so Miss Jella, thank you for taking the time to be part of our children's workshop. We saw the children's expectations for this event and they are really excited to draw with you. And also, we're also excited to learn from all the participants we have today. So your drawings will be like our glimpses of how you see the world. And also, we're very curious about how you see art and what art means for you. So what we're going to make today is kind of easy, but something that I hope you guys will be proud of when you're done. Yes, so thank you for that, Alec, and thank you, Ms. Jelle. So the illustrations we will make in today's workshop will have us answer the main question, what is a community? Ano nga ba ang isang community? So we will learn about our own communities and each other's communities, as well as reflect on the roles we can play for them. Ano ba ang pwede natin gawin sa ating, para sa ating community? So malalaman natin, we'll learn that through the story, of the children's book, Kapit Kapit Bahay Bahay, illustrated by Jelai Manabat, and artworks from the Metropolitan Museum of Manila collection. So we're going to take a look at artworks and through the book as well. So we have participants joining in both Zoom and Facebook. So we encourage everyone to share what's on your mind using the Zoom chat or the Facebook Live comment section so we can chat with you. For our Zoom participants, we'll be asking you to turn on your audio and video on certain parts in the program so you can share with us more freely. So later throughout the program, you can turn on your video and your audio. But to ensure we are engaging with each other respectfully, as a so that we have a safe space, please do keep in mind the community guidelines you see in your screens. So our first community guideline, do remember that we recognize everyone's courage to share their thoughts here in our program today. Second, we acknowledge we are speaking from our own perspectives and that others can engage with what we say. So we know that what we're saying is from what we know and that others can interact with what we say as well. And then our next, next um, guidelines, remember that we will listen to others' ideas with compassion and an open mind. So when our classmate here in today's session says or shares something, we will listen to it with an open mind and try to think about it with compassion as well. And lastly, our last guideline is we will acknowledge all forms of exchanges 
positive and negative and use them as a learning opportunity. So what we will do today here, we share, we can share and we acknowledge that everything that we share here is a learning opportunity for everyone. So later on, when we're drawing, we'll be asking the Zoom participants to show your drawing with us through the video so we can give you more tips. Facebook participants can also snap a photo of their drawing progress and post it on the Facebook comment section so we can see it and interact with you. So a while ago, while we were waiting for others to join in, we have our icebreaker questions in the chat box. So you can take a look at it now. So in the same, so this is the time to share our answers for our icebreaker questions. You can type them in the chat. Or if you'd like, you can use the raise hand button and we'll call you to turn on your video and audio. So our Facebook participants share share with us your answers through the comment sections. So the Met team, Alec and Jasmine will chat with you there. So Ms. Jelai will ask our first icebreaker question. Okay, so our first icebreaker question is, what are your favorite things to draw? What do you like to draw in your notebook or your sketchbook um, or in your free time, maybe you're doodling? Let us know what's your favorite thing to draw. George PM me uh, on Zoom, and he said that his favorite things to draw are cartoon characters like Snoopy and Fred Flintstones. <laughs> I I wouldn't think that uh, kids these days would still know uh, and watch Flintstones. Yeah. <laughs> Sabi also um, answered her favorite thing to draw are house designs and portraits of national heroes. Wow. <laughs> I think Anna Lay was raising her hand. Would you like to share? Uh, wait, hold on, you're on mute. Paper dolls. Paper dolls. Wow, Galinga. Do you also play with the paper dolls you draw? Yes. Other answers include flowers, um, characters from a game that they watch or play, dress designs, or just some characters they created. Ice cream yes. and joyful things that express my life. Wow. Uh, oh. Thank you yeah. for all your answers. Yeah, just to pahabol, Bien also PM'd me and uh, said that I like to draw people and clothing. All right, so thank you for your answer. So we can go to the next question. Give one to three words that come to mind when you hear the word community. So ano yung mga naisip nyo yung salita pag narinig nyo yung salitang community? What comes to mind when you hear community? So you can type in your um, answers. Neighbors, unity, houses, pantry. Community pantry, yes. George uh, PMV, and he said that uh, what community reminds him of is family, of course, and subdivision. <laughs> yes, yes. We also have here family, city, Philippines, environment, people, houses. We have your friends, so that's good. Let's see what else. Ethan also messaged me. He said, I think of the word common interests. Mm, yes. That's good as well. A group of people, neighborhood, and city. So yes. Are there any more answers before we go to the last icebreaker question? Community is also a relationship. Oh, yeah. That's, that's, a, that's a nice thought. <laughs> I think we can go to our next and last um, icebreaker question. So my question uh, for everyone is, why do you like art? So we're curious to know. Uh, Sabi said, I like art because it helps me express myself what I feel, what I think about it. Me too. Ah, 
because it's fun. Uh, definitely, that's why we're here. <laughs> and uh, Axela says uh, it's a workout for the big brain. <laughs> Would you agree that uh, some artworks are harder to understand than others? Anyone else would like to share? Because I can play with colors and shapes. Ah, so later, uh, Miss Jelly will uh, lead us in playing with the shapes and colors. I like art because I can make anything with art. Wow. Yeah, that's also true. You, uh, you'll see uh, as you go along looking at artworks that art can be made by all sorts of objects, even objects that you find around you. Uh, it's fun because I can express happiness, pain, sadness, and fear. Uh, that's true, Tristan. Uh, Logan also mentioned it's fun. We agree with you. And Andrea, our last uh, message, said, I like art because I get to create my own little world and characters. Oh. Uh, I oh, agree. That's nice, yeah. yeah so, art is also world building. Yes. <laughs> so, wow, there are a lot of answers coming in here so thank you so you can keep it coming and then as we go through the introduction as well you can also share with us your ideas so thank you for sharing your answers everyone we hope you enjoyed thinking about them and that the activity released some nerves from typing here in the chat and the facebook comment sections and sharing what you have in mind now let's start the workshop's introduction by going back to our main question for the day what is a community? As always, remember that we would love to hear your comments and reactions in the Zoom chat and the Facebook comment section. So did you know that we have a 3D capture of the exhibition, which you can see right now in your screens. You can use to see many artworks in the museum. You can literally zoom in and feel like you are walking along the hallways and going from room to room. We'll share with you the link of this 3D capture later so you can explore the exhibit as well. So today, we will use this 3D capture to zoom in on three paintings. So what is a community? Let's look at it first from a general point of view. So now you see our first painting here today. The title of our painting is Bayan Yay Apat. So it's a painting by Ferdinand Doctolero. So let's take a look at the painting. What can you see? Who are the people here? You can type in your ideas. So let's take a look. So I see there's a lady in white over the left side. So what can that lady be? Can she be an office worker? A nurse perhaps? And then here throughout, we also see other characters as well. Yes, construction workers, you're right. How about in the lower left square? A priest, there's a priest. Kings and queens, I see. And then let's see, what other um, characters can you see in the painting? How about a farmer? Can you see a farmer in the painting? A preacher, yes. So how about an electrician? Do you see an electrician perhaps? Yes, how about little children? Can you see children as well in the painting? Yeah, so thank you for your answers in the comment section. So who are these people? Who could they be? Do you think they're um, our community helpers? So the people here are our community helpers and they play a big role in our community. So when do you interact with the community members, with your community members? When do you see them? Where do you see them? Yeah, I'll give you some time to think about it. Like when do I see the community helpers? Where do I usually see them? So we have a lot of answers in the chat box. Yeah. So maybe you can think about, hmm, when I go to the grocery, who, who, what community members can I see when I go to the neighborhood, neighborhood stores, malls? There are community members there as well. Vendors, who cuts your hair? So the barbers who cut your hair are part of your community. When we used to go out, 
the tricycle drivers and the jeepney drivers are part of our community. And most likely when we go to school before, we have uh, the Kuya tricycle drivers who we usually go to to help us go to school. Uh, or the service, right? We go, to, we, we go to school using the service. How about the delivery men and women? I know that a lot of us right now are ordering food. So they're, they're also part of our community members as well. Clinics and hospitals, those people are also part of our community. And they really play a big role. So besides all these community members, who are the other people you interact with besides the community members, besides your family? So your teachers and classmates too are part of your community. So what this painting is showing us is that communities are made up of the people I see and my interactions with them. So there's so communities, there are people in our communities. Now let's go to our second painting for today. So it's just right beside it, there. So this painting is entitled Basketball by Emmanuel Garibay. So why do you think the painting's title is Basketball? What can you see there? So let's see if there are some answers. Why is this called basketball? There a basketball league. There are people playing basketball. So right. So usually in our communities, there's a place where we usually gather and see each other, right? Like a plaza, a community hall, a community building. And for the characters in this painting, their common place where they usually meet is the basketball court, right? So we have this one in our subdivisions. We have basketball courts in our subdivisions. And this is the place where we have competitions, intramural, sports fest, right? Or flea markets and changes. So that's where we all go to there. And then besides a basketball, this painting also shows a plaza or a market place. City Hall gym, yes. So it looks like there's also a marketplace at the background of the painting. So we see vendors selling different goods. Maybe our families, when we go to the market, meron na tayong mga suki na kilala natin, na pinupuntahan na natin, where we usually buy food from. Or how about think about the vendors from your school before? The fishbowl vendor, taho or sorbetes vendor, or your local panadero. So all these, we greet them as well, right? So how about you or our... Where do you usually meet your friends or the other people in your community? Where do you go to? Let's see. Think about, hmm, where do I meet my friends? Where do I usually see them? In the road, yes. So before, we usually meet at school. Yes, you're right. Or park, that's good. At school. We also visit each other's houses. So we can hang out in Zoom now, yeah. So we also, right now, especially now, we also see each other online. So we have an online community, all right? So do you play games when you're, when you're online, like Minecraft, Roblox? Yes, I'm happy we're, we have online friends. So there, so besides the physical spaces now, now that we're here at home, we also have an online space where we also see each other. Discord, yes. Okay, so there. So what this painting is showing us is that communities are made up of the places that we go to, the common places that we go to. A subdivision can be a community. A condo building can be a community. A street can be a community. Your school is a community and our online spaces are communities as well. And all this, our experiences in these places make up a community. All right, now let's go to our last painting for today. So let's take a look. So this painting is entitled La Macarena Holy Week Sevilla, Spain. 
It's a painting by Claude Payag. So this painting shows the religious celebration or the festival called La Macarena or the Blessed Virgin Mary in a town in Sevilla, Spain. So yes, yeah, so worship. So what does it remind you of, this painting? Especially, you know, it's a religious festival. Holy Week, there I see. Yes, so it reminds us of our Holy Week celebrations here, right? So you see, there are a lot of people and there are there's a carriage and some musical instruments being held by some of the people there. So you're right. So it's like our Holy Week celebrations. And usually events bring the community together, just like our Christmas and New Year festivities, right? So we have Holy we have Holy Week celebrations, and then when it's Christmas time, usually our church have nativity community shows. We see each other with when there's fireworks outside. And come to think about it, sports events can also bring communities together, especially right now. The athletic communities were brought together during the Olympic season, and they all, all rejoice. We all rejoice with our first gold medal, right? There. So other events that bring communities together, clean up and recycling drives, community shops. So what celebrations do you have in your communities? Maybe I'll give you some time to think, what do you do together as a community? Yes, Tas, yes. Water Lily Festival in our city. Gardens, birthdays, you're right. So besides these events and festivities, communities are also brought together when we help and support each other. So in times of disasters like strong rains, typhoons, floods, communities help each other, right? An example is when we organize donation drives and we offer the help and services that we can. We donate food, we repack them together, and we deliver them. And an, an example is when food became expensive and not everyone had the means to buy food, the community members got together to initiate community pantries to those in need. So people gather and give what they can. So what this painting is showing us is that Events, celebrations, and causes bring communities together. We show how we care for each other, right? Yeah, okay. So those are the three paintings that we have for today. So through these artworks, we're able to see what makes up a community and even realize that we are part of a community and of different communities, big or small. So in the days that we have been stuck at home, it does feel like our world is limited to our home. But hopefully through this workshop, we don't forget that we have a community out there and that anytime we can always engage with it, find a sense of support and camaraderie for us to all grow together. Now, I'll give the floor to Ms. Jelai to talk about Kapit Kapit Bahay Bay. And she will tell us a story of a particular community and let's think about it together. What does it mean to be a community? So, Ms. Jelai? Hello again, everyone. I'm Jelai, and today I will share with you a story called Kapit Kapit Bahay Bahay. It is written by China De Vera and illustrated by me. <laughs> so, I'm going to read the text at the left. You can read with me if you like. So, it says, Ang kwento sa amin, palaging may dumarating na halimaw. Biglang may kumakalabog. Nauubos ang mga pader at nagsisiliparan ang mga yero. Madalas natatakot ako. Pero, pag andyan na si Lola Baby at mga kapitbahay namin, sa amin naman natatakot ang halimaw. So, what do you think the story is about? Or maybe you can think of what it's about from the title, Kapit Kapit Bahay Bahay. You can chat your answers here in Zoom. So, what do you think it's about? It's about 
a community. It's about an urban poor community fighting for their place and their right to a decent life in the city. So from the title, Kapit Kapit, which means like to hold on, to hold on each other. Um, Kapit Bahay, your neighbor or our neighbors. And what else? Bahay Bahay. Sounds like the houses are very near each other, right? So in the next slide, we will see the main characters of our story. So in this story, we follow the point of view of a kid just like you guys talking about her Lola baby and the things they do in the community. Can you find Lola baby in this page? So you can see the girl running and shouting, Lola! And she's running towards her Lola in the corner. So that's Lola baby tending to her um, plants, like a real plan tita or plan Lola. <laughs> okay. So in the next page, the girl says that she's amazed by her Lola and the many things her Lola does in the community. Lola Baby happens to be a community. Lola Baby initiates feeding programs, uh, medical checkups, and other kinds of um, activities, like um, also community meetings, so they can discuss and plan about things concerning them as a community, like how they can fight the Halimau who is out to destroy or eat their houses. So in the next page, the girl asks her Lola uh, what kinds of jobs she did before becoming a community leader. And Lola Baby says, so I'm going to read the text here. She says, Naging kasambahay, nagtanim at nagtinda ng gulay, nagluto at nagtinda ng kakanin at merienda. And finally, she says, Naging leader activista sa aming mga kapitbahay, which Lola Baby says is her favorite of all her jobs. She also adds, ang mga trabaho ng mga taga-komunidad ay may mahalagang bahagi sa syudad. So, why do you think Lola Baby said that? Or what could she have meant by that? So, on the next page. So, here we can see the different um, jobs, the different community helpers that we also see in our own communities. And these people, they're part of one um, community here in the city. So the girl thinks to herself, kung papalayasin kaming mga maralitang lungsod, may hirapan daw dito sa syudad. Naisip ko, kung sa malayo papalipatin si na Manong June, sino na ang magsasemento sa kabilang kalsada? Kung papaalisin dito si Manang Wendy, saan nabibili ng tanghalian ng mga gwardiya sa tapat? At kung itataboy naman si na ate tata, sino na ang magmamaneho ng mga tricycle na sinasakyan ng marami? At kung hindi na makakatira rito si na kuya boy, babaho ang mga bahay dahil walang kukuha ng mga basura nila. So everyone in their community plays an important role in the city. Can you name all the different community helpers in this page? What can you see? So you can comment your answers here on Zoom or on Facebook. So Tristan says there's a farmer, there's a tendera, a tricycle driver, a construction worker, right? A janitor. What else? Do you agree that these people are very important to our city? Do you think? Yes, Vian says yes. <laughs> yes, they are very important in the city. And so the girl says, Kaya pala, ganun na lang ang tiyaga ni Lola at ng iba pang kasamang kapitbahay sa pagpapaliwanag tungkol sa 
Demolition. Oh, have you ever heard of this word? Demolition. Demolition. What do you think it means? Bien says no. What do you think demolition means? So demolition could mean to destroy, right? Or forced eviction, George Tan says. Right, so when a house is demolished, it is destroyed. And so how do you think um, these people feel when their houses are, are demolished? Would they be sad? What do you think? Sad? What else? If you put yourselves in their situation, how would you feel if your house was destroyed or taken away from you? Anger, right? Sad and angry, right? These might be our feelings if this happens to us. Okay. So in the next page, So the, the Halibo has finally come, and Lola Baby and everyone in the community linked arms to defend themselves and their houses from demolition. So as you can hear, my dogs are also angry. <laughs> so some of the houses are now nothing but skeletons. But together, they tried to rebuild their houses from scratch. The Halima comes every now and then, but Lola Baby and everyone else know that they can defend their community if they continue to stick together. So what do you think of Lola Baby's community? Is it similar to yours? Do you guys also help each other out? Yes, you also help each other out. Like what? Um, Miss Nikki and Miss Alex said a while ago, uh, we do community panties, uh, we do donation drives. <laughs> All the people are helpful, says Raika Escario. <laughs> and they care for one another, right? So that's a very important thing about communities. Uh, we care for one another. Okay. So thank you for all your answers. Um, I guess we now have a, um, a new layer or a new meaning to what a community is. We can, I think we can now move on to our, our yes. activity. Is that right? Yeah. So thank you, Ms. Jelai, for sharing with us Kapit Kapit Bahay Bahay. We hope the participants got inspired to think about their own communities as well. And like what you said a while ago, had a new sense of what a community is. So with all these ideas from the paintings and the book in mind, let's try to answer the question, what is a community through our illustrations? So take a look at the chat and to our Facebook participants at the comment section and make sure you have all the materials prepared. Once we're done illustrating, we'll have a sharing where we will ask two or three volunteers to show their drawings. Again, I'll give the floor to Ms. Jelai to start the workshop. If you have questions, just type them in the chat and Facebook comment section. Okay, so what we're going to make today is an accordion book, just like this, with pictures of our community. Can you see? So we're going to draw ourselves and the members of our community. And at the back, we can also add um, the different places that are part of our community. So I already started this part. So for example, when you go to the Sari Sari store, to the bakery, to your school, to the church, to the barangay hall, or even the kiosks outside your street. Okay, so what will we need today? We're going to use, uh, I, I hope you prepared your materials. We need two pieces of bond paper, scissors, clear adhesive tape, or you can also use glue or paste, pencil and eraser, 
and coloring materials of your choice. So today I'm going to use colored pencils. Okay, so I'm going to show a video of how we're going to make our accordion book. So if you have your paper ready, oops, hold on. Mm. There, okay. So if you have your paper ready, um, we're just going to fold it in half lengthwise. So you can also look at my other screen. So just align the edges and press the center fold. So that's pretty easy, I think. And then you have to do the same to the other sheet of paper. And then once you've folded both sheets of paper, you can use your scissors to cut along the line. If you're not yet confident with using scissors, you can always ask for help from your mom or dad or from your older siblings or from any adult in your house. So I'm going to wait until all of you have, are done folding and cutting your paper. You can also raise your paper once it's been cut. How are you guys doing? <laughs> Let's just cut the paper. Uh, be very careful with using scissors. Let me know if you're done. You can raise your hand or raise your paper to the screen. So you should have four strips of paper. So Josh is already done. Who else? Sophia is already done. Okay, let's wait for the others before we continue to the next step. Everyone done? Okay, I think everyone's done already. So let's move on to the next step. I'll share another video. There. So we're just going to fold all these strips in half. So you should now have four strips of paper and then fold each of them in half, like this way. Okay. 
I wish I can hear you guys. <laughs> Josh is already done. Wow, you're so fast. Make sure to fold all four strips of paper. Sabi so is done. also done. Aze is also done. Oh, I think Josh has a question. Yes, oh, okay. yes Josh. Mm -hmm. The only reason why I raised my hand is it's not because um I'm done, it's because oh, I okay. have a question. Okay. Um how do you do this like a bit faster? Which one? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> um the first part because it took me forever. Luckily I had three paper. Oh. I messed with one of it. Oh that's good. That's good that you have extra paper. Yeah, yeah that's, that's okay. That's okay. Um, cutting also needs uh, time to practice. I think that I'm um, quite quick with the scissors now because I've been cutting a lot of paper when I was young. So you guys can be um, fast at cutting too. I'm done. I'm done. Hi. Right. Thank, Thank you, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Now. <laughs> Okay, so is everyone done folding their four strips of paper? Okay, are you ready to move on to the next step? So I'm going to show another video. Okay, so have all four strips of paper ready and your glue or tape um, easy to reach. So I like to put a little bit of glue on a piece of paper and then use my finger to apply it on the paper. So take your first two sheets of paper. The first one should be folding upwards this way like a V and the second sheet should be folding downwards like this. I and think then align Sabi, the edges of the page. Sabi yes. raised her hand. Okay, let's just pause the video first. Mm -hmm. Yes, Sabi. Yes. Are you okay, Sabi? I think she's okay. 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 I'll play the video again. So just align the pages together and then use your glue or tape to attach them to each other. So you can take your time. This video is just... Um, sped up <laughs> that's why my hand is moving so quickly in the video there so carefully place a second sheet on top of the first sheet so that they're aligned and make sure there aren't any bubbles so you can press firmly with your hands and then you don't have to worry about the loose edges you can always go back and put a little more glue to put them in place So just do the same thing with the third and fourth sheets and make sure that each sheet folds in the opposite direction of the previous sheet. So if our second sheet was folding downwards, our third sheet should fold upwards. And then our fourth sheet would fold downwards again.
So let's just pause first. Do you guys have any questions? Were you able to follow? Are you guys doing fine? <laughs> Sabi is done. Very good, Sabi. Can you show us what you made? Right. So in the end, it will become a very long strip of paper. And then once you're done pasting the pages together, you can fold them like an accordion. So folding the pages like an accordion means um, alternating the folds by folding over and then folding under, folding over again, and then folding under again. You can also ask for the help of an adult if you're finding it hard to glue the pages or use tape. Yes, good job, Josh. I can see your accordion book is finally getting into shape. <laughs> I see your accordion book, Sophia. Very good. Who else? You can also raise your work to the screen so everyone can see. Or you can let me know in the comments or chat section if you're done. Ethan is also done and Rafa on Facebook is also almost done. So the next bit is the easier part, I hope. I'm sure you guys already know how to draw. Because as you've said, you like to draw different things like paper dolls, characters from games, um, Marvel characters. Our national heroes, house design, dami yung alam i drawing. <laughs> Can you guys uh, draw a horse? That's always very hard for me. Also, drawing hands. <laughs> so sometimes when I draw hands, I just think of them as a bunch of bananas. Are you guys done? You can raise your hand if you're done so we can move on to the next part. Yeah, I think Rezi raised her hand, so she's done. George is done at last. <laughs> and Ben is also done. Zoe's also done. Josh Ben's is asking. Done. Can I draw anything? I will see in the next part if you can draw anything or if you can make anything be part of the theme of what we're going to do. So can you guys remember what the theme of our activity is or what we were talking about a while ago? Community. Communities, right, or community. So 
If you're done making your accordion book, we're going to start drawing pictures of our community. So who, who again are uh, part of our community? So there's you or me. So that's the person, the first person we know. And then the different community helpers, our families could also be part of our community, our classmates, our teachers. So drawing these members of the community or who you will draw in the accordion book um, expresses uh, like how you give importance to these people or how you recognize their role in the community. So I'm going to share my other screen. Uh, we see you, Josh, raising your hand. Can we help okay, you Josh, with anything? I have a question. I have to tell you something. Um, I made two accordion book, one for one for um the community and the other one for anything that I want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. on the other on the one that I'm going to draw anything that I want, I'm just going to draw my my Roblox character as in like my my avatar in Roblox. Oh. I see. Ooh. Oh. Those characters can also be part of a community. Whoa, <laughs> mind blown. <laughs> Wait, really? Okay, okay, okay. I'm drawing I'm drawing him as as me. I'm drawing it. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Okay. That's a great idea, Josh. Uh, you guys can also make another accordion book uh, to draw anything that you like after our workshop, okay? So if you guys are ready, I'm going to share a video of what I'm going to draw. There we go. Okay. So on the first page, um, you can draw yourself. I'm so that can be the cover. The blank page can be the cover. And then the first page, you can draw yourself. So how do you draw yourself? You usually start, or I usually start with the head, which is a circle for me. You guys can draw a triangle or a square if that's the shape of your head or face. And then of course, my face has, or my head has ears. You don't have to follow what I'm doing, okay? I'm sure you know how to draw yourselves very well. You have your own style. So just uh, follow your own style, your own technique on how to draw yourself. The important thing is that it's you. It's a picture of you. So that's kind of what I'm, uh, that's kind of how I look today. I have a headband, but I'm not wearing glasses. <laughs> a nose in the middle and a smile. You can draw yourself as how you think your community knows or remembers you. So you can think what your hairstyle would be, what clothes you'll wear, Will you be standing or sitting? Are you holding something in your hands? Will you wear any accessories? Will you draw yourself with glasses or without glasses? Would you like to put something extra on your head like a cool hat or maybe a crown? 
Maybe you can also draw yourself with wings. And if you're done, you can show us what you drew. You can raise your paper to the screen so everyone can see. My dogs would also like to show us what they made. <laughs> You can also draw yourself in front of your house, or maybe you can put faces of your family next to you. So George is done. Wow. So George used, I think, um, a triangle for the nose. <laughs> Can we see if it looks like you? <laughs> yes, yes, it does. <laughs> Anyone else want to show their uh, self-portrait? So this is me. Can you see? I think Zoe is showing hers. Is it Zoe or Zoe? Zoe. 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 Good job, Zoe. Cool pigtails. Or you can also draw things that you like next to you. Okay, so if you're done drawing yourself, um, on the next pages, um, let's draw other members of our community. So who do you see in your uh, neighborhood or in your school? Maybe the owner of the Sarisai store, the Barangay Tanod, your teacher, um, the person at the bakery. Who else? Who would you draw, um, Miss Alec? Hmm. Um, I think I will draw my mang tataho. <laughs> Who comes to our uh who comes by our house every other day in the morning? <laughs> what about you, Miss Nikki? Who would you draw? Um I would draw since we're fond of delivering food, maybe I'll draw those. <laughs> <laughs> the delivery friends. Yes. Uh. <laughs> So right now, I'm drawing um, this guy we call Kuya Dani. Kuya Dani is actually a barangay tanod. And um, he's a friend of my mom. I think everyone in our neighborhood is a friend of my mom. <laughs> because she likes to tell stories to everyone. And Kuya Dani has been very helpful. He always assists us when... We have questions. Um, if the barangay captain is busy, he makes sure to for he makes sure to forward our concerns to her. And Kuya Dani, aside from being a barangay tanod, also helps in uh, fixing, like the faucet or the mm -hmm. the pipes sometimes of other houses. And then this other person I'm drawing is Kuya Toti. So Kuya Toti is the owner of a sari-sari store in our neighborhood and he, uh, 
and he has cute little dogs. And the Sari Sai store in our neighborhood is also a place where people usually gather because there's a small bench outside so you can hang out there, um, drink what you just bought, or eat your snacks. I think Josh is raising his hand. Yes, Josh? Okay, wait. Um, I was, I, I just finished drawing myself. Here's mm -hmm. how it looks like. Here's the front. You, mm -hmm. the purple thing and the yellow is the is my glasses in my Roblox avatar. And uh, and I have a smile here. And then here are my arms. And here's my shirt it's the like the default roblox shirt as in like the ones that bacon hairs wear and here's mm -hmm. my legs and here's the back one you may oh. notice something's different <laughs> you see you see this this is um this is i think it's my russo sword of truth i think <laughs> yeah so josh you from different perspectives or from different views. So there's a front view and there's a back view. You guys can also do that if you like. Nice Thank one. You, I guess I'll just mute now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would anyone else like to share with us their self-portrait or who they drew um, as part of their community? Do you also consider yourselves as community helpers? Have you ever thought about that? Uh, Ms. Jelai, we have a question from Facebook from Rafa. He asks, oh, okay. how many pages should I how draw? Many? All right. Uh, how many pages should they use? Thank you, Rafa, for asking. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen first. So... Um, we can draw the ourselves and the members of our community on the front side or the first side of our accordion book. And on the other side, if you're done drawing yourself and the members of the community, you can draw the different places where people usually gather in your neighborhood, barangay, or maybe it could also be an online community. So for example, if you visit different websites together or games you can also put that in there or if you're not so keen on drawing places you can draw yourselves and your uh, and the community members doing activities for example um, the sports fest the community pantry the donation drives community meet meetings mm, fiesta what else Ah, pila sa ano, sa poso. <laughs> pila sa tubig, pag walang tubig. See, so that's also a community activity. Yes. <laughs> oh, there's another uh, question from Rafa. He asks, can I draw people like fictional characters? Mm, I, I think I that's see. the Josh question a while ago. If you feel that these characters are part of your community, then of course you can draw them in there. And as Miss Jelle said, uh, those can also be, uh, those are also part of uh, their own communities too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and yeah, just before we continue, we'd also like to acknowledge um, our participants joining us on Facebook. So we have Rose there, Rafa. Aziel, Riza, Ricky, and everyone else. Glad to have you uh, draw along with us. Thank you for joining us. Um, I would also like to share who else I put in my accordion book. So there's two ladies, and they're both named Atefe. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So we have this one lady friend named Atefe who delivers uh, fruits and vegetables to different houses. So that has been very helpful, uh, especially now that we can't always go out to buy our groceries. 
And then there's another Atefe who who is again a friend of my mom and she she helps my mom when she needs a haircut or just when they want to um, share stories. Mm -hmm. So it's always good to have a neighborhood friend who you can share uh, different stories or maybe if you have problems, someone who can help you out. So a community is, um, you don't always have to be living in the same place. What's important is that you care for each other um, or that you maybe you share the same interests or the same goals. For example, in the community in our story a while ago, they're, um, they're all um, determined to fight for their right to stay or to live in the city. We have a question in the chat. So, I miss watching movies at the cinema. Are the people in the movie houses also members of my community? Yes. If you feel um, connected to them, then of course they are part of your community. So this can be the film going community or film enthusiasts. So if you're part of a club or an association, that can also be your community. So for example, um, the people with us today, the staff of the Metropolitan Museum of Manila, they are their own community as well. They are the Met community. If you are interested in art, then you might be part of the art community. And maybe I guess right now, since we all came here today to draw, we're part of a drawing and art community as well. You can, so you can show us what you made. You can raise your paper to the screen to share with everyone. So sharing is an activity that communities do. <laughs> I think VN showing hers. Can we see if it looks like you, Vien? <laughs> you got your hair. And the smiling eyes. <laughs> so again, on the other side of your accordion book, you can start drawing places or activities in your community. So the first one I drew is the Sari Sari store owned by Kuya Toti. So Kuya Toti has a daughter named Iana. So that's the name of their store, Iana Store. Can you see? I think um, Chong, uh, Andre, is showing his. Or are you done? I think he's done. Josh raised his hand. Yes, Josh. Okay, so here's my family. This is my Ninang Maggie. Wait, I'll place it a bit closer so you can see it. This is my mom. This is my Lolo. And this is my lost brother, as in like during pregnancy that no, I had a brother. And uh, and we were both still eggs. And I think I was the egg that ate my brother. That's why I'm fat today, I think. Okay. Thank you for sharing with us, Josh. Yes, we can also include um, uh, different people in our community, like our family, even if they're not with us. If we feel connected to them, then yes, they are part of our community. I think Sabi is also raising her hand. And then with three photos, this is me, my family, and a community group, and a group mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is that a motorcycle?
the job on during the motorcycle. That's very hard for me. Enjoying robots and trucks. <laughs> Things with wheels and like mga makina, yun. Mahirap yun for me to draw. <laughs> George says, I added our pet beagle in the image like Snoopy. So yes, you can add your pets because our pets are also part of the community. They make us feel um, happy, um, comforted. Sometimes in place of people, we share with them our struggles, our stories. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So I'm also just going to continue um, coloring my drawing. So this is just like what I think Miss Alec or Miss Nikki said, this is the magtataho. And what I find so fascinating about the magtataho is that he can be part of all our communities because he's traveling from one neighborhood to the other. So the magtataho on our street might be the same magtataho who visits your house. <laughs> We have a question from Riza on Facebook. Teacher, pwede po mag-drawing ng nature or iba? Yes, of course, you can draw uh, nature as part of your community. <laughs> because of course, we're all situated in a place that we share. And then Zoe, Zoe is raising her hand. Yes, Zoe. Zoe, would you like to share with us what you drew? This is my daddy and mom and Lola at Lolo. Can you share some more about them? Or would you like to share some more about your family, Zoe? Like what they do in the community? But it's okay if you don't want to. <laughs> but great job. Great yep, job, Zoe. Great job. I, yeah. I saw the all the figures have so much personality when you draw them. Like they were doing poses and they all had their own clothing. <laughs> I guess our families are the first, um, are our first community. Oh, I think Josh also wants to share. Hey, Josh. Yes, Josh. Hey, this is Manong. Here, um, the here. Wait, um, I have a question. How in the world do you? Um, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so, so he's, in this hand, he's watering mm -hmm. like, like the flowers. Mm -hmm. And on this hand, he, it may look like a trash can, but it's actually what, uh, what he's thinking. Mm -hmm. And he's and he's sweeping the leaves. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for sharing with us, Josh. Uh, yes, watering the plants and sweeping is very important. Uh, is a very important thing to do in our community to keep our neighborhoods, uh, whatever, wherever we're staying clean so that um, 
we don't attract diseases or that we stay, we, we stay um, safe from sicknesses. Miss Nikki and Miss Alec, did you also draw something? Oh no, unfortunately I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> busy with all the the technicals <laughs> but i also want to share my own drawings maybe after this and we hope um you as well uh once you guys finish everything uh you can also share with us like the whole finished product after you've had the whole weekend to work on it we'll be very excited to see them So I think we only have a few more minutes left. I hope that's okay with you guys. Maybe let's wrap it up in three minutes. And it's okay if you're not yet done, you can always uh, finish your drawings after our workshop. And for those um, at Facebook, you can post pictures of your work in the comment section so that we can all see um, who, you who you included in your community. And if you're not um, so keen with drawing, uh, you can also use different um, picture making techniques such as collage or um, what else? Maybe you're better at putting photos together or music, making a song about your community <laughs> or making a video. And I think it's uh, this is a good way to reflect on how important our community is, especially right now that we're um, just in our homes, we're not able to go out, but that we are still able to support and care for one another. And it's also a good time to reflect on how we can give back to our communities. So we have one more minute and then you guys can continue your work um, after our workshop. I think we have a comment here from Facebook from Asia. I'm done coloring and drawing, but I have a question. Can you draw anything, but it has to be a community? <laughs> if, you're, if you think you're done uh, drawing about your community, of course you can draw anything else that you would like. But then again, if you think about it, 
<laughs> Maybe that thing is also part of a community. So, of course, technically, there's a lot to draw that's mm -hmm. part of your community. So, I guess yeah, what we, sure. yeah, what we want uh, you to do as well as you, as you draw is also to think about how do these, uh, this person or place that I'm drawing is also a part of my own community. So, how does that work? Your relationship with it? Yeah. So I think our time is up for drawing. You guys can continue your work after a workshop. Would some of you like to share? I think Sophia is already showing her work. Sophia, can you unmute and maybe you can share with us what you've drawn? So you can hold it. Right, Miss Sorry, I need to put you. This is me, Police and Doctor. Papa Simon. My family. Yay! <laughs> Good job, Sophia. What else? Did you also draw at the back? Or... Not yet. So there were a lot of community helpers in Sophia's drawing. And they all had different clothes on them. It's hard to think of what people will wear when we're drawing. But yeah. Sophia did it. Uh, also slap. nice. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, nice usage of color, Sophia. Uh, even though we're looking through, you know, Zoom camera, like the colors you pick really shine through. Yeah. The purples, the blue, the yellows. Yeah. Great work. I think Sabi is also raising her hand. Yeah. Sabi, you want to share? Um, I'm done, and this is me. This is my family. Um, the grab driver. <laughs> um, the carpenter. Our housekeeper. A vendor and a baker and a teacher. Wow, there were a lot of people who were included in her community. Good job. And, and some of you, them are even in their workplace. And you also drew their tools, not only just them. So that's really cool. Also, solid line work. Your line is very lines are very confident and solid. Right. Uh, Annalee is raising her hand. Yeah. Annalee, would you like to share? This is me. And then this is the baker, and this is the teacher, and this is my friends, and then and then this is my neighbor, and this is my family. Great. Uh, we'd like a closer look. Can you show us, uh, can you show them in the video a lot closer so we can see? 
Wow. Is that blue hair you pick? Cool, cool. Nice dress too. Ah, so who is this? <laughs> That's the baker. Yeah. The baker. Nice. Oh, the baker hat. Right. Is that holding a tray with the bread? Yes. Ah, nice. Good storytelling visuals. And they're also stylish. <laughs> yeah, very. The dress. Is that your Lola? Um, that's the teacher. Oh. And on the other side? This is my friends. Nice. Where do you see each other, Annalie? And then this is my neighbor and my family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Miss Jelle said, everyone's very stylish in your drawing, <laughs> wearing dresses. But yours is the best. <laughs> Would anyone else like to share? Thank you, Annalie. Anyone else would share? Or maybe Miss Jelle, you can also show them how they can properly fold the accordion. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yes. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm just gonna show you without words. Because you might not hear me because of the barking. Ah, there. Okay. So you can open it out like this first and then you can decide which end is the front or the back and then whichever way just alternate the folding so if this is folding folding over the next will be folding under and the next will be folding over again and then under again were you guys able to get that so just like an accordion. So if you imagine that this is an accordion, you can you would play it this way. <laughs> Did that make sense to you guys? That way you can also easily flip through it like a book. Right. Uh, Zoe, I think Zoe would like to share. Do you want to unmute and tell us about what you I saw? draw a unicorn. Because I love unicorns. Is that a color violet? Pink. It's pink. Pink. Uh, pink. pink. <laughs> I draw myself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Good job. And the flower. Wow, nice. they're all so different from each other. Yeah. So, can we get a close up of yourself again? So we can see the details. Uh, that's really nice. 
Great work on the coloring. Yeah. Tap it mo daw. Yeah, those are really great colors. And I see there's one person waving. That's so nice. <laughs> it's a good detail. And they're also doing different poses. This is my yeah. Lola. Ah. And my daddy. And my mom. Great. What's great. the name of the unicorn? The unicorn. Thank you, Pai. Thank you, Pai. Are you a fan of My Little Pony? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. That yes. shows really cute and fun to watch. Thank you, Zoe. Clap. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. Does anyone else want to share? Someone we haven't heard from yet. Who else wants to share? Chong? Anyone else before we go on to our next part of our program? Sophia, maybe? I see you preparing your your art. Okay, let's call on Sophia. Okay. Can you tell us about what you've made? And then a pukanina. Okay. I thought you wanted uh new things to share again. Yeah. All right, I think we can go to the next part of our program. So um, we're glad that a lot of you are so eager to share your illustrations. But for now, we will move on to the next part of our program. But if you still have to share, because I see that some are still working on it, we, we will leave the room open even after we close the program. So we can all still see each other's works. So to cap everything off, we... Um, everything that we learned today, that we did today, we would like to leave you some ideas to ponder on. So you can think of it as a pabaon that we will leave with you. So maybe, Ms. Jella, if you have a pabaon to share with the kids. Mm, so I think I've said this before while we, while we were drawing. Um, I think this is a great time to think about our communities and I'm grateful for this opportunity that we have to do that to and and I think drawing the faces of those who we consider to be part of a community expresses how much we give importance to them um, how we appreciate and are also thankful for them and I guess that's it <laughs> and what else and you guys do great art <laughs> I think that's all I have to say. Thank you, Ms. Jelai, for leading today's session. Thank you to all our kids. So a while ago, a lot of you mentioned that uh, you like art because it helps you express yourselves. And uh, we hope this afternoon that uh, you've had that opportunity to express the way you see things around you, the way you make sense of the world, uh, but also help you think more deeply about the relationships of the people around you, your schools, and uh, in your community as well. Uh, so art can help us uh, think about these things too. So I think uh, uh, one, I forgot who it was, I think it was George who shared that uh, art can be used as a brain exercise. Mm -hmm. And it's also fun. And I think we've experienced both uh, this afternoon. So thank you, everyone. 
and we'll be sharing with you a couple of links at the end of the program, including the the one you saw a while ago, the three D tour of the museum where we can just walk and zoom in the artworks. So we hope that you can visit the link and then just be with the artworks in the museum and think about them and how they reflect uh, as well and how how they can reflect on what you know and how it can expand the way you think about things. So I think Ms. Jelai wants to share something before we close. Right. Um, so I just want to share with you that we have an ongoing online exhibit at ang-inc.org. So Ang Inc. or Ang Ilustrador ng Kabataan is an organization of children's illustrators. And right now, we have an exhibit. We have two exhibits. So one is Why We Draw for Children. So this tackles uh, the reasons why each Inc. member became an illustrator for children. And the next is Bagong Pahina, which features the newly made the books by Inkies. So you can visit our website until August 31 to see the these two exhibits. So we'll also share with you the link at the end of the program. So Ms. Jela is also part of a community of illustrators. Right. <laughs> so now uh, we'd like to give the floor to our Assistant Director for Exhibitions and Programs, Daniel Devela, for the closing. Dan? Administration Workshop for Kids. Uh, you guys draw so well. So good job, everyone. Uh, as Jelle said, just keep making art, and maybe someday you can show your artworks in museums like the Metropolitan Museum of Manila. So thank you to the parents and guardians who helped our kids today, and we hope you can keep joining us in our upcoming programs. You can continue your accordion books, and later you can share with us your um, creations by taking a picture and posting it on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram with the hashtag MetOnlineStudio. We would love to see what you made and the stories behind it. Who knows, maybe you can even share your works in our Facebook page. Thank you, Jelai, for sharing your illustrations from the book Kapit Kapit Bahay Bahay and for facilitating the workshop. We hope our, participates, uh, our participants were able to explore uh, their drawing styles uh, through your tips and tricks as well as um, reflect on their communities and the simple things they can do for um, their neighbors and their ates and their kuyas. Thank you to our Zoom and Facebook participants for sharing your ideas through the chat and the comment section. Thank you also to the volunteers who shared their illustrations and stories with us. We do hope that we learned a lot from one another. So to those who would like to receive an e-certificate, kindly fill up the evaluation form linked in the chat below. And um, older siblings or parents can help the children complete it. Your feedback will help us do better in our future events as we prepare for the reopening of the Metropolitan Museum of Manila's new spaces in Bonifacio Global City towards the end of the year. So again, thank you all for joining us this afternoon and have a happy weekend, everyone. Yay. Virtual claps and real <laughs> claps for everyone. Yeah. So as Mickey said, we'll just be staying here in Zoom a bit if you want to chat. But we'll be ending the live, Facebook live soon. So it will just be us. Thanks, Matt team. Thanks, Jelai. Hi, thank you again, everyone. So, hindi na tayo naka Facebook Live. If you want to stay a bit to chat lang with us, 
chat freely so no one's watching tayo tayo lang feel free to stay or if you want um uh, early merienda or dinner you can also go but if you have any questions we're just here yeah teacher group picture po ah wow okay, okay let's take a picture yeah how could we forget <laughs> Okay, everyone. So everyone, let's uh, switch on our videos and yes. let's do a photo. And you can also raise your artwork so that we can see it. I, I made one also. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's me holding my cell phone. <laughs> Texting the MET team. <laughs> <laughs> the MET community. <laughs> the MET community. <laughs> okay. So... Everyone, oh. nice one, A's. Is everyone ready hey, for a smile? Everyone, one, two, three, screenshot. Yay. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. When Good you job, everyone. Hope to see you there. Hope to see thank you again you next more. time. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Happy dinner. Yeah. Bye bye. bye. Happy Thanks new see. month tomorrow. Happy weekend, dress. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy weekend. Happy <laughs> weekend, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Thank you for wishing us a good weekend. Thank you, Andale. Thank bye. you, Paul, Andre. Thank, Thank you, Zoe. Have a good tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again, Sabi, for joining us again. Thank you, Zoe. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Anale. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye, na tayo ha. <laughs> by the way, Anale, you have all. Wala na. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> She has cute glasses. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Chong. Hi, Andre. Hope you had fun. Ah, wala ka yung uh, audio. Oh, I see. Send us a picture na lang of your drawing too. Okay. Who else is there? Okay, tie tie. Congrats. Yay, congrats, everyone. Yay. You're so cute. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, buti lang, ano, very vivo. So, like, this is what I made. <laughs> Behave. Si, si Josh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay. Thank you, Miss Jelly. Yes, thank you, Miss Jelly. for everything. <laughs> yeah. We'll update. Thank you na lang po ulit next week about everything. Thank you po. Thank Sorry you po. po. Ingay po ng mga aso namin. <laughs> no worries. They're part of the ano, <laughs> community. <laughs> community. <laughs> And the, the Zoom experience. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, thank you po. Thank you. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, everyone. Happy Saturday. Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yay. Congrats. Please. Congrats, guys. Yay, na ito win. <laughs> Kamusta sa Facebook? Okay naman nun. No? Walang flood. No, wala. Walang spam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Then, like, they kept asking questions also. Aww. Ano lang, mga works. <laughs> I guess they don't know how. Pero, uh, like, they tried us. <laughs> to join. Oh. Si ano, I saw Miss Tina kanina kasi nag-log out siya a bit early, no? With this. Oh, oh, oh. Well, anyway, I think it was great. Um, yung live video natin, can we put it up until let's, ano, hide it na lang come Monday. Yeah. Okay. Hanggang Monday. Yun lang. Yun lang.
Uh, then, pahinga mo, guys. Yay! Uh-uh. August programs. Oh, mga August programs naman. <laughs> Update. Na. And then, let's do like an internal, parang, ano ba dito? Uh, internal evaluation mm. thing. Yeah. And also, how we can make, ano, um, yung ating, yung the document that we have, yung, Uh, guide yung all the checklist. So I think there are a lot of things na we na pwede nating madagdag. Mm. There. Okay. Yes. Yun lang. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye. Yes. Happy weekend. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.